Hello guys and welcome to a uh, soft Photoshop action tutorial. So first thing I uh, will show you some examples of the results of this section. So we have some examples. So th there are a few examples of what you will get when the action is completed. So let's get straight to tutorial. First thing we need to check is that your uh, Photoshop is in an English version. In order to, in order for action to work, so to check that, go to Edit Preferences and click on Interface and check this uh, check here that is set to English so after that click OK now next thing we need to check is that your mode is RGB color so go to image mode and check RGB color and 8 bits channel so after that select brush Make sure that your opacity is set to 100 and flow to 100. After that, go to Layers Panel here, click on this box here, and select Panel Options and check this box here. Add Copy to Copy Layers and Groups and click OK. And now uh, I recommend using uh, high quality pictures so you will get better results um, so if you have a if you have a, a small picture just go to image image size and raise the resolution here and click OK after that so now uh, one more thing to check is that your picture needs to be loaded like this with this view here so background width and italic and with this lock here and if it has a view like this just go to layer new background from layer and then you're done next thing we need to do is to load uh, the brushes for this section so select brush click on this arrow here click on this box and click load brushes and go to your action uh, action folder and click on artistic action brushes click load after that we need to load the actual action so go to action tab uh, click on window click on actions and click on this box here and click load actions and go to your action folder and click here on artistic ATM file here and click load open it open it again now we need to uh, brush the area where we on brush the model of our picture so Make a new layer and name it brush without caps. This is very important uh, in order for action to work. So name it like this. So brush without caps and select a soft brush here and choose whatever color you want. So we'll make it red and brush the area where you want your action to appear. like this So now, uh, when you're done brushing, 
just hit uh, play and wait for action to finish so action is completed now I'm gonna show you how to edit this section so let me just close this here and now a little trick to quickly close all the folders just hold down the left alt key and click on the, on the arrows of main folders like this and that way you can quickly close everything down so I'm just gonna explain what every folder uh, have so first folder is main adjustments that is just fixture adjustments next folder is elements front of model so you have a canva canvas texture let me just zoom in so I can show you when you hide it so you can see it has a bit of canvas texture you have a brush strokes four those are little brush strokes let me just zoom in so I can show you as you can see little brush strokes and then you have a model and model elements so you have a two versions of model first one is a little bit rough unfinished look and second is a full finished look so I'm just going to show you as you can see there are no rough strokes on this one but uh, it has a little bit of strokes on this this version um, next folder is elements behind model so uh, we have uh, three brush strokes so I'm just gonna show you so this 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 is the first one second one and third one which is around the model and it's hidden by default you can um, show it uh, just click on this little eye button here and last folder is uh, background elements so you have a background color which you can um, change and we have a background outline which is these um, kind of a drawing outline lines as you can see and background paint as you can see when you hide it, it just reveals the the um, brushed part as you can see but when you when you have this turn on it adds a little bit more uh, outside the brushed area so now I'm gonna show you how to edit everything so first thing we will do is you can edit this uh, background paint just click on layer mask uh, select the brush and you you can use one of the action brushes so I will use this one and just um, just um, set this foreground color to black and just brush it out as you want so uh, you can see we're brushing out change to foreground color to white to maybe add if you uh, delete it a little bit more so as you can see 
now we <coughs> now what we do is uh, brush out this background outline so choose the black color and just brush it out like this there's a little bit nice effect uh, fading away and we're gonna change the background color to some yellowish you can use one uh, one color from the model I'm gonna choose this one um, next thing we will do is uh, change the brush strokes so every brush strokes has a solid color and a gradient color so as you can see you can change the gradient so what we're gonna do is um, choose this color and make it make it dark like this second layer we're gonna change color so like that and we're gonna change the brush strokes for color also do it so you can also brush out the model just select a layer mask um, set color to black and just brush it out like this I'm just here playing with some options so you can see how you can edit yourself Also, you can um, uh, scale and rotate these brush strokes. So, as you can see, you can make it smaller, make it larger. So, I'm set like this. This one here too. You can make it place whatever you want. So, as you can see, we created a very nice design here. So, that's about it. So, I um, hope you like this section. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't buy this section, go to the link in the description and download it. Um, support my work. Follow me on graphic. River and thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.